Hi guys, Ryan here from Elite Automotive Diagnostics. Today we have a Land Rover Discovery in the workshop. Uh, the customer's complaint is that the vehicle has a lack of power, can't go above 30 mile an hour. There's no engine light. Um, so we've interrogated the engine computer. We have two fault codes, uh, EGR circuit and mass airflow. Now we all know that obviously if we have a fault with the EGR valve, it's going to affect the mass airflow sensor. And if the mass airflow sensor isn't working, it can also trigger false codes for the EGR valve. So we need to identify, is it the mass airflow sensor or is it the EGR valve or is it both? Do we have two separate faults? So if we go back and we look at live data, we want to see what the mass airflow sensor is currently doing. So what we're going to do is search for our mass airflow sensor. We're going to graph it. Currently we're reading zero grams a second. So now we need to identify, is it a mass airflow sensor issue? Um, is the mass airflow sensor working? So we're back probed uh, to it there. Um, it's a frequency type mass airflow sensor. So ignition on, we should expect to see some type of frequency signal. Uh, so if we check the scope, as you can see, we have a flat line, no frequency at all. So I verify the powers on the ground to this mass airflow sensor and both are correct and operating. Therefore, it has a faulty mass airflow sensor. So we can use a sensor simulator, which we have here, in order to bypass test this fault. Um, so we can identify, is it the mass airflow sensor that is the fault only, or does it have two separate faults? Um, so what we're gonna do, is using the sensor simulator, we're gonna input a frequency and a voltage. So we're gonna generate a square wave pretty much. 11.3 um, volts is what I put it in. Um, between 0 and 11.3 at 4,300 hertz. So we're going to hit, we're going to turn it on. So salt on. So we're currently producing that signal. We'll connect it up down here. This is my BNC lead. We'll connect it up. So we now should be producing a 4,300 hertz signal into the mass airflow sensor. We confirm it with the scope. As you can see, we can now see a decent frequency signal. And we also can confirm it with the scan tool to verify the wiring integrity is correct and that there's no break between our mass airflow sensor and wherever the engine computer lives on this thing. Right, so now we can try and clear our code. So for example, if we were setting false EGR codes, both codes should clear. So we're going to go back um, and back again. So we're currently producing 12 grams a second of um, airflow. So we erase the codes. Codes have been erased. We'll reread the codes. And as you can see, the EGR code is still coming back. So are we now have a known good frequency for the mass airflow sensor, yet we still have an EGR fault code. So we can now inform our customer that they have two separate problems, not one, but two. So the customer has a full idea before replacing this component and then needing to replace that component and getting into a bit of trouble between the customer saying, well, you said it was this, you said it was that. So quite simply using this tool here, we can produce a signal to the computer what we're supposed to be seeing at the mass airflow sensor if it was operating correctly in which case we would be able to identify is it just a mass airflow sensor problem or is it a EGR and the mass airflow sensor problem in this occasion it is both so I just wanted to show you that guys um, how we can use this tool to kind of get ourselves out of trouble um, rather than quoting for one um, fault we can now quote obviously for both because it has two separate issues okay guys thanks for that bye bye